Alright, so uh -huh. okay, we go to first someone again and I just want us to read it again. Please read the same scripture. First Samuel 17, verse 48. First Samuel. Yeah, please. 17, 48. One more time. Read it for us to understand. And it came to pass. Uh -huh. When the Philistine arose and came and drew nigh to meet David. Yes. That David hastened and ran towards the army to meet the Philistine. Did you see it? In hard times, what happened? David hastened. David did not run away from hard times. Did he run away? Uh -uh. No. He did not run away. It was hard against the children of Israel. But David ran. You know, he ran against the hard times. All right, then. Okay, then also let's go to Philippians. Philippians 4.13. Winning in hard times. Philippians 4, verse 13. You see it to read. Philippians 4 13, please. Philippians 4 13, I can do all things through Christ which strengthen. That is it. What did he say? He said, I can do. You see it? I can do all things through who? Through Christ. Through Christ, Christ that stretches me. Yeah, that is Amen. It. it is not through the hard times, not through the economy, not through money, not through this, not through that, but through who? Through, through Christ. Christ. Amen. We are living in the hard times. Mm. We are living in the hard times. For you to live and me to live, it is through Christ. For you to do all things, me to do all things, it is it is through Christ. Amen. That gives us the strength, not the strength of the world, but his own strength. His own strength. His own strength. I can do all things. And also, let's see the last scriptures for today. 2 Timothy 3, verse 1. 2 Timothy 3, verse 1. 2 Timothy 3. Praise God. Yes. This know also that in the last days, perilous signs shall come. You see, we are living in the last days. He said, perilous times shall come. The hard times is here already. Perilous times. Perilous times shall come. The hard times is already here. At the last days. He said, this know also, not to you only, even me talking to you today. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. We are in the, you know, we are in the last days. And in the last days, many things are happening. Many things are happening in the last days. But you and I, we are winning in hard times. No matter what is going on, we are winning in hard times. Let's see the last scriptures again. First Timothy 4 verse 1. 1 Timothy 4 verse 1. 1 Timothy 4 verse 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly uh -huh. that in the latter time yes. some shall depart from the faith. Yes. Giving heed to seducing spirit and, what? and doctrine of devils. Do you see it? In the last days, these are what you'll be experiencing. You'll be experiencing and seeing doctrines, seducing spirit. Doctrines of the devils in the last days. Many things will be coming up. Many things will be coming up. Because the Spirit is speaking to you and I today. That in the last days, some, not everybody, look at what it says. It says some, right? It's in the Bible, right? Yes. It says some shall depart from the faith. Not everybody. Mm -hmm. Not everybody is going to depart from the faith. But the Bible says, some shall depart from the faith. What happened? Giving heed to seducing their spirit and doctrines of devils. devils. But you and I, we are the song. You and I. 
And the Bible says, we are winning in hard times, according to Philippians 4.13. It says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Amen. I can do all things. Right? Am I right? Yeah. I can do all things. Through who? Through Christ. Through Christ. That give us the strength. Amen. Christ's strength is what we are using. Uh. We are not using the word system, but we are using Christ's strength today. It says song. We are the song. I want us to see that scripture again before we, you know, we start. He said, now, that is in verse 24, verse 1. Now, the Spirit speaketh expressly. You see it? He's speaking expressly to you and I. I'm telling you, I am not excluded. I am part of the song. The Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times, that means in the last days, some shall depart from the faith. Giving heed to seducing and spirit, spirit and doctrines of devils in the latter end, in the last days, in the, in the last days. But you and I, we are the song. Because the Bible says song. It didn't say everybody. It says song, 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 song. So you and I, we are the song. Amen. We are winning in the hard times. Yes, Lord. We are what? Winning in the hard times. The, I'm telling you, in the last days, many hard things will happen. Things will begin to happen in the last days. But the Bible said in Philippians 4.13, it said, we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Amen. Only Christ can give us the strength for now. There is no strength in the world economy. There is no strength, I'm telling you, but you and I, we got the strength from who? From Christ. From Christ. And Christ is the empowerment. Christ is in us. And we in him. Amen. It's our being. Amen. It's our walk. Yes, it's our wisdom. Amen. It's our spirit. Somebody shout amen. 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 Shout amen. 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 That is it. You are in the Zoom to speak with me. We are in a deliverance section. I'm telling you, we are winning in hard times. No matter the economy, no matter what is going on, we are winning in hard times. Wherever you are, say, I am winning in hard times. I am winning, I am winning in hard times. That is it. Why are you winning? Because Philippians 4 13 says what? I can do. That's what it says. We all can do. We all can do. We all can do all things. All things. All, 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 all things through Christ. Yes. Through Christ. Through Christ that strengthens you and I. Amen. Mm. That is it. That is why we are winning. That's why we are winning. That's why we are what? Winning. We are winning. Then the question is, please take note. Man did, in fact, if you see, man, he lost everything in the beginning. Why? Because of his obedience. Man was separated from God because of what? Disobedience. Man lost the winning. Man lost the victory. Man, he lost everything in the beginning. But Christ came and, and we lost the victory back. Christ came and gave us the victory. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, my brother and my sister, Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory. Victory, victory, hallelujah. Jesus conquered the world. And keep us victory, everybody. Victory, victory, hallelujah. That is it. So he gave us the victory. That is why we are saying we can do all things. We can do all things. We can do all things through Christ. Through Christ. And so, my brother, the question is what is the meaning of winning? 
Number one, it means to be victorious. To be what? Victorious. That is the meaning of winning. To be victorious. To be successful. And to finish well. I'm telling you, if you finish this year well, it means you have, it means you have won. Once you finish 2023, it means you have won to enter another one. I'm telling you. And so, my brother, what is winning? It means for us to be successful, for us to be victorious, for us to finish well. For us to finish well. For us to finish what? Well. This is the meaning of winning. Now, what are the facts about winning? What are the facts? Because we have facts of which you and I, we have to sit down and begin to think about it. Number one, winning doesn't, you know, it doesn't always mean being first. It means you are doing better than before. <laughs> I repeat again. Winning doesn't always mean you are going to be the first. It means you are doing better than before. Than before. That is it, my brother. Amen. Number two, winners never stop trying. Winners never stop trying. Do you see it? That's the fact about winning. I repeat that again. The fact about winning is the number one. Winning, you know, it doesn't always be the first. It means you are doing better than before. You are doing better than before. And also, winners never stop winning. If you win, don't stop. Continue. Continue. Number three is a winner is someone who recognizes his God-given talent. Prayerfully walk towards his skill and use that skill or talent to, to you know, talent to do what? To accomplish his divine goal. Amen. I repeat again. A winner is someone who recognizes his God-given talent, prayerfully work towards his skill, and use that skill or talent to what? Accomplish his divine goal. Number four. Now, number four. I'm talking about fact about winning. Losers live in the past. Once you are a loser, you live in the past. But winners learn from the past. Winners, they learn from the past, Enjoy walking in the present towards the future. Amen. I repeat again. I repeat again. Losers live in the past. Losers live in the past. The winners, they learn from the past. Enjoy walking in the present towards the future. Amen. Number, yes, number five. Winners try, losers complain. Winners try, but what happened? Losers. losers complain. Winners get tried, but losers complain. Number six, attitude is the difference between winners and losers. Attitude means your character. Your character, your character, your character. Attitude is, you know, attitude. The difference between the winners and losers is what? Attitude, your character. Number seven. Number seven. Yes, number seven. The extra energy, yes, that's required to make an effort, it makes a difference. It makes a difference. The what? Extra energy required to make an effort makes the difference. Failure destroys losers. Failure destroys losers but what inspires winners every winner was once upon a time a loser <laughs> every winners at the time they were losers before they become a winner i'm telling you my brothers and my sisters number nine you know it says it says that winners compare their what Achievement with their goal, while losers, you know, they compare, you know, achievement with what other people. 
Losers compare their achievement with other people. They compare with other people. They compare it with what? Other people. They compare it with what? Other people. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So my brother, winners compare their achievement with their goals. They compare their achievement with their goals. Not with other people. It's only losers that compare their achievement with other people. Yeah. It brings jealousy. It brings comparison. And also failure destroys losers but inspires winners. Failure destroys losers but what? Inspires winners. winners. <laughs> number nine. Is it number nine? Yes. yes number nine. You see, why most people are dreaming of success? Most people are dreaming of success. The winners wake up to achieve the success. Most people are dreaming of success. The winners, they wake up to achieve the success. Amen. 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 Number 11. Winners, they are ordinary people with extraordinary heart for God. Winners are ordinary people with extraordinary heart for God. Number 12, history is treated by winners, not losers. History is treated by winners. If you want to be a winner, hang around with winners. Amen. If you want to fly, fly with the eagles. Amen. Not with the chicken, but fly with the eagles. They fly and fly and fly. They don't complain. So, you were born to choose. It is left for you to choose either to be a winner or to be a failure. And also, persistence, persistence is one of the qualities of winners. Persistence. Yeah, persistence. You don't stop. You don't stop. You don't stop. You continue. You continue. You continue. You do not stop. You do not stop. You continue. That what they call persistence. The winner doesn't lose hope. He keeps going until he works things out and finds a variable solution. There is something God wants you to do inside of you and grow it. And do what? And grow it. And grow it. Grow it how? You grow it through prayer. Amen. And you will reach your divine goal. You will always win once God is by your side. What I said? You will always win once God is by your side. Exactly. That is it. That is why I say in Philippians 4.13, it says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Amen. Amen, somebody? Amen. Amen. All right, then the next one is what to do before the end of this year. What do we do before the end of this year? Number one, if you're not born again, you must be born again. You must what? Be born again. You must be born again. Born of the Spirit, not of water, but of the Spirit. You must be born again to enter a new year. You must change your mindset. You must remove your will, your emotions. What to do before the end of this year? And also, keep trusting God no matter what. Keep trusting God no matter what. Amen. I'm telling you, keep trusting God no matter, no matter what. Just keep trusting God. And also, refuse. Refuse to listen 
to satanic gospel that is telling you that you will not win. I repeat again. Refuse to do what? To listen to satanic gospel that is telling you that you will not win. Refuse to listen to that evil voice. That inner evil voice telling you you will not win. You will not win. You can't make it. You can't leave this level. You can't leave this year. You can't leave this level. You know, refuse to listen to it. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Reject it. You have to reject that voice whenever he's speaking to you. And also, please, also, please, never pay evil for good. Never pay evil for good. Then also, prepare to take risk. Risk is faith. Prepare to take risks. Everything is not convenient. You have to try it. Try it, I'm telling you. Try it. And also, please, also, is not all lies are lies. Not all lies are lies. Some are saying the truth, but you think it's a lie. But that is the truth. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. If you watch some of these, you know, social media, very well, you discover that at least what they are saying, there is somewhat atom of truth in it. Right? Am I right or wrong? Yeah, right. That is it. There is atom of truth. When you watch some of these social media, uh, you get some truth from it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, my brother. And also, do not compromise with the world system. Do not compromise. Do not compromise. No matter what, do not what? Compromise. Compromise. We are going back to the script. Yes, we are going back to the scriptures again. Yeah, so that we know. Uh, yeah, before we start praying. Do not compromise. People are compromising right about now. Now let's go back to sec, I mean to Second Timothy 3, verse 1 again. What did he say? Second Timothy 3 verse 1. We are we are reading it again. It's on the chat board. It's already on the chat board. Uh -huh, yes. Uh, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. That is it. That is it. In the last days, perilous times shall come. Perilous times is hard times. Different kind of things. Many things will be happening in in the latter. I mean, you know, in the last, time. in the last days. I'm telling you, my brother. He said, he said, he said, this no. That means you should know, not you should have it. Maybe you should know. No is bigger than have. Because have, you can lose it or lost it. But once you know it, you know it. Amen. Am I right or wrong? That's right. <clears throat> People of God, right. that is it. So you can have it, but lose it. I have it, but you lose it. But you can know it, even though you know you sleep at night and there are some forces against you. What do you say? Jesus Christ. Why? Because you know it. <laughs> you know what you can do. You know exactly what to say. Blood of Jesus Christ. They come to your dream. They come. They come to your dream. Blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Because you know, because you know, you know, it's with you. Yes. So knowing is different from having it. Yes. Having it, you can lose it. You can lose it. So the scripture say, this know also that in the last days, the really us, the really us times shall come. Now it's coming, right now. Now we are seeing it. Can you see what is going on? In the whole world, it's shaking. I'm telling you, Turkey is going through the earthquake, flood. Saudi Arabia is going through it. Saudi Arabia is going through it. Jerusalem, look at them. I'm telling you, Jerusalem, the people, you know, you see Christians, you know, Christians used to go there. 
They used to go to where? Jerusalem. Now they can't go. They have to stay, take the Bible, and read for themselves. Am I right or wrong? That's right. People of God, am I right or wrong? That's right. You're right, possibly. That is it. Take your Bible and read for yourself. You don't need to run to Jerusalem now. Sit down with the Bible. Sit down with the war. I'm telling you, read the Bible for yourself so that nobody can deceive you any anymore. <coughs> now let's go to another. I mean, the scriptures again. Let's go to um, First Timothy 4, verse 1. It's already on the chat board. First Timothy 4, verse 1 is already on the chat board. It's there. But you can read it out so that we all can see it before we go pray. First Timothy 4, verse 1, please. Yes. Yes. Do you see it? It's happened now. It's happening now. Look at it. It says, now. You know, it is yesterday or tomorrow. He said, now the spirit, the spirit of God now is speaking to you and I. It's an instruction to Timothy. Apostle Paul is telling Timothy, say, hey, hey, you know what? What is going on right now? Look at, look at, look at what is going on right now in the later times. In the later days. Some shall depart. Not everybody, not every one of us. Some shall depart from the faith. Not faith, the faith, the faith. Is there, is there from faith? The faith. The faith. You know, giving heed to what? Seducing spirit. Can you see what is going on today? People are seducing people. I'm telling you, they are seducing. They have seduction uh, spirit at the latter times. Seduction spirit. If you know you are involved in that, just know it is the last days. <laughs> you know, and uh, giving heed to seducing spirit and doctrines of who? Of devils. Devils has its own doctrine. The doctrine of the devil is okay, no problem. You can do what you want to do, no problem. You know, we all are going to heaven. We all are going to heaven, no problem. We all are going to heaven. <laughs> There is no hell. There is no hell. No problem. We all are going to heaven. So do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. No problem. Dress the way you want to dress. You know, do what you want to do. No problem. These are the last days. Many things will be happening. Continue reading, please. Uh, Sister Laura, read the same place. Read verse 2 and 3 now. First, first Timothy 4, verse 2 and 3. Yes. Uh, speaking lies and hypocrisy, uh -huh. and their conscience saying with a hard eye. Uh -huh. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats, mm. which God has created to be received with the abstaining of them which believe and know the truth. That is it. This is what is going on now. People are speaking lies in hypocrisy. You will see lies, you will, you will think it's truth. You see it? Having that conscience seed. They're conscious. They don't have conscious anymore. They, they do not have conscious anymore. It's the last days. The last days that compromise. I'm telling you, see with hot iron. Look at it. Forbidden to marry. You see it? Ah, I don't want to marry. Look at what happened to my father. Look at what happened to my mother. Look at what happened to my sister. Look at what happened. I'm not marrying again. I want to stay my own way. Look at what they say. Forbidden to do what? To marry. It's the last days. It, it's the last days. I am afraid to marry. I'm afraid to marry. I'm afraid. So it's an instruction from Paul given to who? To Timothy. Say, so Timothy, this is what's going to happen in the last day in the church. You also teach them now. Forbidden to marry and commanded to abstain from meat. You know, there are meats that are forbidden. There are some meats that are good for us. But we go, you know, we go there and select the meat. He said we should receive it with what? With thanksgiving. With thanksgiving. With thanksgiving. I'm telling you. And that is why if you go to a place, you know, you know, when you go to a place you want to eat meat, 
There's a buffet there, uh, right? Am I right? Mm -hmm. Right? There's a buffet. And that buffet has different kind of uh, meats. So it's for you to go, it's for you to go and choose the one you like. You do not condemn it. Don't condemn it. I'm telling you, because what you condemn somebody else, he likes it or she likes it. So that's why they have what they call buffet. They call it a buffet. You know, you go, you pick the one you like. The other one go, you pick the one you like. That is why. That is it. So you don't have right to condemn. So, oh, this meat is there. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Take it with thanksgiving. Am I right or wrong, please? Amen. That. that is it. That is it. So, my brother, my sister, forbidden to what? To marry. People, they refuse to marry. It's the last days. I don't want to marry. I don't want to marry. I don't want to marry. No, no. It's the last days. Forbidden to marry. My father treated my mother anyhow, so I don't want to marry. My mother treated my father anyhow, so I don't want to marry. All of these are the last days, what? The last days, uh, you know, the last days, what? Event that the scripture is letting us to know today. Now we are going to pray today. There are some powers challenging your faith. Challenging the light of God in your life. Today, we are going to command them to go, to die. Amen. Out of all us. I'm telling you, my brother and my sisters. Amen. So we have 19 prayers today. And we are going to take them two, two minutes. Two, two minutes of the prayers. Two, two minutes. Because I already taught you about, you know, the hard times. You know, winning in hard times. And we have scriptures there. Number one, I'm going to read it that we all follow to pray. Please, I want you to pray. Because the prayer is on the chat board. Number one is already on the chat board. Why some of us here in the building, we already have our papers with us. And on number one, I'm going to read it. Then number two, somebody else like that, we go like that until we finish. All these two, two minutes. Now number one. Any power of darkness challenging the light of God in my life die in the name of Jesus Christ. Number one, go ahead. Any power of darkness challenging the light of God in my life die in the Begin to pray, begin to pray. Any power of darkness, any power of darkness challenging the light of God in my life then die in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power, any power, any power of darkness, 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 challenging, challenging, challenging the, the light of God in my life. Die in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power of darkness, any power of darkness, challenging, challenging the light of God in my life. Die in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power, any power anywhere. Any power anywhere, challenging, challenging, challenging the light of God, the light of God in my life, the light of God in my life, the light of God in my life, die in the name of Jesus Christ. It's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Number two, we're still talking about the light of God. You see, the light of God. Somebody should read number two quickly, please, quickly. We don't have, please, quickly. Number two, please. Light, light of God in my life. Uh -huh. Blindfold them that are monitoring me for evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Light of God in my life. Light of God in my life. Blindfold them. Blindfold them that are monitoring me for evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Light of God in my life. Light of God in my life. Light of God in my life. Blindfold them, blindfold them, blindfold them that are monitoring me for evil, monitoring me for evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Light of God in my life, blindfold them, blindfold them that are monitoring me, monitoring me, monitoring me, monitoring me for evil, for evil, for evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Light of God, 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 
light of God in my life, in my life, in my life. Thy them, thy them, that I might only be for evil. It's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. And the other one is the blood of Jesus Christ. Number three, please. Somebody should read it. Go ahead. Number three, please. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. the stone the enemy is throwing at me shall result to my promotion. Hey, amen. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, every stone the enemy is throwing at me shall result to my promotion. Shall result to my promotion. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Every stone, the enemy. Every stone, the enemy. Every stone, the enemy. Every stone, the enemy. Is throwing at me. Shall resort to my promotion. 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 Thank you, Father. It's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. And the other one is, I want you to take your spirit now. I mean, this one is, you have to put your name. Your name matters now. Your name. Your name matters now. In the spirit. Put your name there. Put your own name. Your own name. Your own rename. Number four. Somebody should read it now. Number four. Somebody go ahead, please. Number four, please. As the Lord living, uh -huh. and as his spirit living, uh -huh. who is a queen if we may, I must achieve my dream in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Go ahead and put your name. As the Lord living and the spirit living, I delay Benjamin Mahoy. Must achieve my dream. Must achieve my dream. Must achieve my dream. Must achieve my dream. In the name of Jesus Christ. As the Lord liveth and the Spirit liveth. Uh, I daily Benjamin Mahoy. Must achieve. 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 Begin to pray. Put your name there. Put your name there. You must achieve your dream. God giving dream, God giving dream. No power can steal your dream, no evil can steal your dream. God given dream, as the Lord liveth, the Spirit liveth. I daily Benjamin Mahoy must achieve, must achieve, must achieve, must achieve my dream. Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus Christ name we pray. Amen. And number five. Number five, you, you now we are using the name Jesus Christ and you pray. I mean, you read number five. Somebody help us, number five. My Father and my God. Yes. Because I have put my trust in you. Uh -huh. Continue to shock you. That is it. Amen. Amen. Continue to shock you and I with what? With testimonies, with miracle, whatever you want to put there, put it there. Whether testimony, whether miracle, whether breakthrough, go ahead and make it to pray. Go ahead and make it to pray. My Father, my, my God, because I have put my trust in you, continue to shock me with testimonies. Shock with me miracle. Shock me with breakthrough. Shock me with, with good heads. 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 Shock me with good heads. Shock me with testimonies. Shock me with good health. 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 With healing. With healing. With healing. With testimonies. With miracle. With breakthrough. With testimonies. Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Number six, we are using the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood we are using, yeah. number six. Somebody should read it for us, please. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. I will write the history of my family for good. Go ahead and use the blood now, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, I will write the history of my family for good. The blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ, we write. We write the history of my family, the history of my family for good, for good, for good, for good, for good. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, I will write the history of my family for good. Blood of Jesus Christ, blood of Jesus Christ, I 
I'll be writing history of my family for good. It's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Any other one? We are using the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody read it for us, please. Number seven, please. Anything in my life, mm -hmm. anything in my life yes. that has not allowed me to win, uh -huh. die this day in hey. the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Anything in my life that is not allowing me to win, die this day. What is not allowing you to win? They must die. They must leave you. They must leave you. We are winners. We must win. We must win. We can do all things through Christ that give us the strength to win. Ah, oh, Christ already, already won it. He's giving, you know, to you and I. We are going to win. Anything in my life does not allow me to win. Die this day. Die out of me. It could be anger. It could be anger. It could be anger. It could be bitterness. It could be bitterness. Anger, bitterness, sin. That is not allowing us to win. That must die out of our life. That must die out of our life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It's in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Number eight. There are some powers that are praying. Some powers are praying. They are working physically and spiritually. So we are going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody help us to read number eight, please. Whosoever, oh Lord. Mm -hmm. Whosoever, oh Lord. Mm -hmm. Physically and spiritually, for me to lose. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Whosoever, oh Lord, walking physically, spiritually, for me to lose, you will never succeed. You will never succeed. Begin to pray that prayer. There are some powers walking physically, walking spiritually, they will not succeed. They will not succeed. They will lose. For, for me to lose, they, they really want to lose. They will lose. They will lose. They will lose. Whosoever or not working physically, working spiritually, for me to lose. For me to lose. For me to lose. For me to lose. You will never succeed. Die in the name of Jesus Christ. Die, you will never function. You won't function. You will not function. Time you know. It's in Jesus Christ's name. We pray. Amen. Amen. The other one is anything. Look, this one is about spiritual things. There are some people, they are bearing things. Whatever, you know, they are bearing things of which you do not know. That's, uh, you know, it's called spiritual. Spiritual, that means you don't know. But it's buried somewhere. You know, and when you look at it, it could be where you are. It could be in the city you live in. It could be in the house you stay. It could be your workplace. You go to work. I mean, you don't know, but you are going to pray this prayer to do what? To undo it and to use the blood of Jesus Christ. Number nine. Somebody help us. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Uh -huh. For me not to win uh, in turn by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. I unto you. Begin to pray. Use your city now, wherever you are. Wherever you are. Those in America, use America. Those in South Korea, wherever you are, whether you are in Pure Tank, whether you are in Ansan, use that place right now. Use that place right now. Anything done, anything done, special for me not to win. Not to win. Not to win in soul. In it's a one. It's a one, it's a one, it's a one. By the power of the blood of sugar, I undo you. 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 Undo it now. Undo it now. Undo it now. Whether in your workplace, whether in the place where you, you know, where you are living, in the city where you are living, that this buried, you do not know. I don't know. But when we are praying, the blood of Jesus Christ will undo you. I undo you. I undo you. Anything done. Anything done. Especially for me, not to win, not to win, not to win here in soul. Yeah, in soul, yeah, in soul, it a one, it a one, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, I undo you, I undo you, I undo you, it's in Jesus Christ, never pray. Amen. 
And number 10 is very critical here. There are some people, they go from one place to other. I'm telling you, they walk with their leg to do you harm. I'm telling you, because of you, because of what God is doing in your life, they can't sleep. All they want to do is to make sure, you know, is to make sure you come back to the lowest level. Mm. But the Bible says, yeah, I mean, now the prayer says, as we want to read, we are going to use the name of Jesus Christ Amen. to stop it. Amen. I'm telling you, they will be crippled. Yes. So number 10. Every leg moving from one place uh -huh. to another for me uh -huh. blew uh -huh. Prepared uh -huh. by motor uh -huh. accident uh -huh. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Every leg moving from one place to another for me to lose, for me to lose. Begin to pray. That prayer is 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 this prayer. Begin to pray that prayer. Be crippled by motor accident. Be crippled. Every leg, every leg, every leg, every leg, every leg, every leg, every leg. moving. From one place to another, whether in my father's house, whether in my mother's house, whether in my illus house, moving from one place to another. Hey, for me to lose, be crippled, be crippled, be crippled, be crippled by mortal accident, be crippled, be crippled. Every leg, every leg from my father's house, from my mother's house, from my illus house, moving from one place to another. For me to lose, 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 be crippled by moral accident. It's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Number 11. Now, now you see, number 11 is we are going to be using the name of Jesus Christ to win. Go ahead, number 11. Every, every meeting. Uh -huh. Gathering against my winning uh -huh. in the name of Jesus what Christ. Sir, Sir, my fight. Fight. Hey, let's go ahead. Every meeting gathering against my winning in the name of scatter my fire. Scatter them. There are some meeting that is not of God. Some meeting. Just because of you, they will hold meeting. They will hold meeting in the river. Hold meeting in the sea. Hold meeting in your family compound. Hold meeting in your uncle compound. Hold meeting in your inner house. Hold meeting in your family. They call it family, family, family. I'm telling you, they will scatter my fire. Every meeting, guarding against my women. In the name of Jesus, scatter by fire. 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 Every meeting. Every meeting. Every meeting. Gathering against my winning. Gathering against my winning. In the name of Jesus, scatter by fire. 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 It's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. And the next one. There's a group of people, listen, there's a group of people, you know, because of Paul, you know what they do? They fasted. They fasted against Paul. I'm telling you, to bring him down. So we are going to use the name of Jesus Christ because there are some people fasting and praying against your winning. I'm telling you, they fast, don't you know? Yes. The hidden fast also. They fast. Yes. The evil people fast too. So make sure you calm down. So we're going to pray. We're going to read number 12. Then. This is number 12, please. Let them, O Lord, uh -huh. fasting uh, and praying against my winning, uh -huh. make trouble, mistake that will destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let them, O Lord, fasting and praying against my winning, make terrible mistake. That we destroy them. Make terrible mistake. That we destroy them. Make terrible mistake. That we destroy them. Make terrible mistake. Let them all not. Let them all not. Fasting, praying against my winning. Fasting, praying against my winning. Fasting, praying against my Fasting, praying against my winning. Make terrible mistake. Make terrible mistake. Make terrible mistake that we destroy them. Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Number, uh, okay, number 13 is that you have to take a spirit to your father's house now. I want you to take your spirit now. You are where you are, but take your spirit now to your father's house. To your where? 
to your father's house. There are someone inherited bondage there. You are going to use the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ to break yourself free. That is the, the only thing that can break is the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ. Are you ready? So somebody read number 13 for us. Somebody, please. Somebody, quickly, quickly, quickly. Uh -huh. Yes. Hey. I break myself free from you. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Use the blood of children. In other, in other bondage of failure operating in Benjamin's for my home's compound. Ah, by the power of the blood of children, I break myself free. I break, break yourself. Break yourself. Break yourself. I break myself free from you. I break myself free from you. Break yourself. As you are shaking your body, as you are shaking your hands, as you are shaking your legs, break yourself free. Break yourself free. Every inertia bondage of failure, operating, 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 in Benjamin's, in Benjamin from my house, come back. by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, I break myself free. I break myself free from you. I break myself free from you. I break myself free from you. Begin to break yourself free. Break yourself free from that bondage. From that bondage. Your DNA is victory. Your DNA is not failure. A victory. A victory. We must win. We must win. No matter, no matter. We must win. We must win. We can do all things through Christ. That give us the strength to win. He already won. We must win. I break myself free from that bondage of failure that bondage of failure that bondage of failure thank you lord it's in jesus christ's name we pray Amen. and the next one is back to your senders we are using the name of jesus to backfire it to wherever it's coming from we don't know where it's coming from, but it's coming. It's coming. Yeah. It's coming. But we are going to send it back to the yeah. to the senders. Whosoever has sent it, we are sending it back to who? That's to the senders. Yeah. Number 14. Somebody read it for us. What we read, please. Quickly. Quickly, quickly. Number 14. Every wicked arrow uh, will be fired against me. Uh -huh. Christ, Come out. Go, hey, go ahead and pray. It could be sickness. It could be diseases. It could be arrow. Arrow that the fell at you. It could be pain, depression, affliction, diseases, sickness. Ah, come out. <laughs> And come back to your senders. Every wicked arrow. Every wicked arrow. Every wicked arrow of failure. Fire against me. 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 Back to the sender. Back to the sender. Back to the sender. Come out. Come out of me. Failure. Come out of me. Sickness. Come out of me. Diseases. Come out of me. Depression. Come out of me. Affliction. Come out of me and go back to your sender. Go back to your sender. Send it back. Send it back. Send depression back. Depression is not of God. Depression is evil. Is an arrow they send. Send back depression. Send back sickness. Send back diseases. They must come out of your system. They must come out from your lungs. From your liver, from your kidney, from your body, ovarian cysts, they must come out from your tendon, from your ligaments, from your bones, they must come out from your stomach, from your intestine, from your belly, from your eyes, from your nose, from your body, they must come out, they must come out, they must come out, that arrow, that arrow, that arrow, they fired, they fired against you, against me, come out, come out, go back to your senders, thank you Lord, it's in Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. 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 Now, number 16. We are still going to use uh, the blood of Jesus Christ. I mean, sorry, 15. 15. 15. We are using the name of Jesus Christ. There are some voice. There are, there are some voice that are, you know, there are some good voice. 
you know, for our restoration. Oh, good voice, I'm telling you. Good voice. So, if you somebody read it for us, somebody, please. Every voice that must appear for my restoration to appear uh -huh. in the name of Jesus Christ, appear by fire. Amen. Amen. Every voice that must appear for my restoration to appear in the name of Jesus Christ, appear by fire. 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 Begin to pray. Ah, begin to pray. Every voice that must appear for my restoration to appear in the name of Jesus Christ. Appear by fire. Appear by fire. Appear by fire. Time to know. It's in Jesus Christ's name that. We pray. Amen. Amen. There's a letter that somebody is expecting. I don't know who is the person. So if you are the one, this prayer is for you. Ah, this, this prayer is for you. It's for your next level. It's for your next level. And we are using the blood of Jesus Christ now. On number 16. Somebody, read it while we pray together, please. Every letter that must appear for my winning to appear. Hey. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, appear by fire. Amen. Begin to pray. Every letter that must appear for my winning to appear by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, appear by fire. Appear by fire. Appear by fire. Every letter. Every letter. Every letter. Every letter. Begin to pray that prayer. If you are the one, that letter, that letter is your next level. That letter is your next level. That letter is from this level. Every letter that must appear for my winning, for my winning, for my winning to appear by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Appear by fire. 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 Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus Christ name we pray. A letter is coming for someone. A letter is coming. A letter is coming. A letter is coming. A letter is coming. A letter, a letter, a letter. A letter is coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Time to know. It's in Jesus Christ name we pray. Amen. Now, 17 is we are using the name of G. Jesus Christ. Somebody help us with somebody, please. Every frustrated loser uh -huh. fighting against my will. In the name of Jesus Christ. Die, die in your frustration. Oh my God. Pray that prayer. Yeah. Every frustrated loser Every frustrated <laughs> fighting against my winning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Die in your frustration. Die in your frustration. Every frustrated loser fighting against my winning. Fighting against my winning. Fighting against my winning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Die in your frustration. Die in your frustration. Die in your frustration. Die in your frustration. You need to pray. There are some loser. There are some frustrated loser. There are some frustrated loser. They want you to lose because they are frustrated. They are frustrated. They are frustrated. They will die in their frustration. Time to know. Time to Father. Time to Jesus. We need to pray that prayer. In Jesus Christ, never pray. Amen. And the next one, if I know we all, we are touch lighters. Touch light international ministry. We are we are under this ministry right now, which is called Touch Light International Ministry. Touch Light International Ministry, you know, the God of grace has been defending this ministry. Amen. I'm telling you, the one in soul and the one right uh, in where? Answer. God is defending the ministry in his own way. Defending the ministry. And that same God who has been defending the ministry We also defend you wherever you are. Wherever you stay, your location, the God of Church Ministry, we defend you. We defend you. We defend you. We defend you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And somebody, read number 18 for us, please. Number 18. 
board of Torchlight Benet Torchlight International Ministries yes. arise and defend my winning hey. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God of Torchlight International Ministry, arise. Defend my winning, Lord. Defend my winning. Defend my winning. God of Torchlight Ministry. You have been the grace of this ministry. You have been our helper in this ministry. You have been our defender. You have been our helper. You have been our healer. You have been our controller. You have been our CEO. Oh, Father, we say thank you. God of Touch Life Ministries, arise and defend our winning. 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 Defend my winning, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus. Christ, then we pray. Amen. You know, and the last one is that you still have to take your spirit to your father's house. Please, your father's house. Because there are some of your family members, they are not where they're supposed to be. Something is, is something is delaying them, something is wrong with them, or something is a power that is, you know, that is what delay them. But you now you become a light now. Amen. You can see very well right now. Yeah. So we're going to be using the blood of Jesus Christ. Number one is to break yourself free. Mm. Number one is you first before you can do other things. I'm telling you, if you are not delivered, you can't deliver others. So you have to break yourself free before you break others free. Am I right or wrong? That's right. Am I right or wrong? Mm. Yes. So that is why we have to break yourself free. I'm telling you because that things they bury. Yes. So that is the buried in our father's, you know, in our father's family compound. Mm -hmm. That is making members yeah. to fail. I'm telling you, all the same, the same trouble in that same family. Yeah. The same thing, the same thing, the same thing, the same thing, the same thing troubling them. There's a power there. Somebody needs to pray the last one. Somebody help us pray the last one that we pray together. By the power in the and blood of blood Jesus Christ, I break myself free uh -huh. from anything buried uh -huh. in my family compound. Yes. Making members of my family compound to, to fail. fail. You see, yeah. go ahead and pray that prayer. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, I break myself free from anything in my father's compound, in, in my family compound. In my family compound, Benjamin, oh my host, yes, yes, compound that is making the members, members of my family, members of Benjamin Mahon's family to pay. We break you. Ah, oh, I break myself free and I break them free. 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 Uh huh. Break them free. Break them free. Break them free. Whatever buried. Whatever buried. Whatever buried. In our father's compound. In our mother's compound. In our illustrious compound. That is making any member of our family to fail. Today we break ourselves free. Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus. Christ's name we pray. Amen. Are you blessed today? Yes, please. Please be seated wherever you are. If you are standing on the Zoom, please take your seat. I take your seat, please. Amen. Please, I beg of you, I don't know if you have the prayer with you, try to send it to your heart.